Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're putting together the support system for the strawberry beds. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a pipe bender. And so what we did was we bent each of these six inches from the top and then in the middle. Went out and tested with two of them connected to make sure it would span the diameter of the strawberry bed. Now this netting they send you with the support system is just a strip of netting. So if you have some, like we did, just use that. Don't go purchasing. They're expensive. There is another company, and I'll put the link below, where you can get these for $20 and the pyramids for $20. So it's a heck of a savings. Now, the problem is they send you string. And they want you to use stakes. Well, we want to be able to lift this off in one piece. So that's not going to work for us. So as you can see, this is held down really nice. So let me show you how, you made, how we made those. So what we did was we took a piece of PVC pipe. And so we drilled one set of holes that went all the way through. And it was smaller than the hole that's a quarter inch that only went halfway through. And then we cut the PVC into little pieces. We put the pole in the big hole and then tied a string through both sides, as you can see, and tied it up to the netting where we wanted it to be. And we're going to do that on every end. So when I go out to the strawberry bed to harvest strawberries, all I have to do is grab it by the middle and move it out of the way. And it's not very heavy, so that should work pretty well. And there you have it. Cover for your deer on your strawberries. Okay, so here is the strawberry beds with the covers on them. Turned out really nice, really easy to lift off to harvest and then just drop right back on top. The fruit trees are doing really well. You can see the green, they're starting to bud out. The trunks have doubled in size over this last year. We put some hoops on top of the uh, spinach and lettuce because we had a freeze. So I didn't want them to die. So that should speed their growth up. And uh, we're all ready for the meat birds. I'll show you that video when the meat birds come in. We also have an additional planting bed over along the rock wall. So that we can put some creeping thyme and some oregano. And we might put our hot peppers over there. Far enough away from the green peppers not to cause problems. So that's what you have for this weekend. Blessings.